we're going to have, and I'm very excited, we're going to eat some Indian street food. There's this new place that opened in Elk Grove um, by the Costco in the shopping center called The Ridge. And they have a bunch of new restaurants there. They also have an Amazon store, which is not open yet. Um, that I want to check out. So we're just gonna go try this spot. I've had Indian food, the regular traditional butter chicken, etc., samosas, things of that nature, but I know Indian street food is its own entity. So I'm very excited to try that. I uh having a lazy Saturday. I haven't done much of anything today, which is always great. Um, I don't know what I'm cooking this week. So when I get home tonight, I'll probably formulate a meal plan of sorts. Happy Black History Month. It's been great. I have on my Black History shirt, sweatshirt that I got at Family Dollar during the Christmas holiday. Uh, there wasn't much going on though, I don't think, this year as far as Black History Month festivities and, and celebrations and stuff, or at least I didn't look hard enough for them. The weather has been crazy here in Sacramento. It's been cold, rainy, windy, dangerous. Hail was the other day, it was hailing, there were flurries. So maybe that has something to do with it, who knows? But um, once I get to the spot, the little restaurant, I'll be sure and take some video and show you all what I decide to eat. I'm very excited. I haven't eaten all day. I take that back. I had some wheat thins and I made an iced coffee at home. So that should be cool. So I'll check in with you guys soon. Bye-bye. We're here at the Indian Street Food. I'm very excited. Let's go in. really good soda selection black cherry pineapple cream soda Ooh, citrus hibiscus orange a lemon berry acai and the classic root beers is really pretty and they also have a lemonade and mango fresca so i ended up getting that samosa shot this is what it looks like delicious this right here i'm excited about so pretty in like a little non-pizza situation. And this soda, let me tell you, I got the uh, pineapple cream soda, it's delicious. I do wish the cups were bigger. Oh, my nephew got a root beer. I'm sad. I'm here at Walmart to pick up my grocery order. I was supposed to pick it up. I put it in this morning, it's a Sunday, and I was gonna pick it up between four and five. And then there were items that I realized I needed. So I figured I'd come to Walmart a little early, go in store and pick up the items I forgot to add to my Walmart pickup order. And at let about four o'clock, I get a message that my Walmart pickup order is delayed. So I'm annoyed. It's currently 4.25 p.m., so I'm going to just wait maybe 20 or so more minutes to see if it'll be ready because, you know, it's raining, and I don't like to be in the rain. It's all wet and cold here in Sacramento. So that's never happened before. I've never had a delayed order, and I hope it doesn't happen again because it's kind of annoying. I'm just going to sit here and wait, but I don't know what to do. I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted. All right, we got our groceries. I waited one hour in the parking lot. I listened to a nice true crime podcast. I'll link it down below. It's called Let's Not Meet, a horror podcast on Spotify. So it was cool. By the time I left, it had stopped raining. So that was perfect. So let's get started. Oh, I this grocery haul was about a well, I'm going to round up. It was 188 so I'm just going to say 190 We did get extra things that 
I usually don't buy, but I'm making something this week that called for extra recipes. And then I impulse bought a couple of things. Okay, first up for our protein and meats this week, I got this organic grass-fed ground beef. For a recipe, I'm making something called pasticcio or pasticcio. And I realized I forgot to get the pasta to go along with that dish. It calls for bucatini um, or penne. So I'm gonna see if I can find the bucatini and if not, I'll just go with the uh, penne pasta. It's like a Greek style mac and cheese or meaty mac type situation. So that's gonna be delicious. I'm cooking from a black cookbook author this uh, month out of my eight by eight cookbook that I'll share with you all later on in this video. I also got ground turkey because I will be making breakfast, uh, what are they called? Sausage rolls for breakfast for me to take this week because I can eat it on the go in the car. That's gonna be delicious. I also got some yummy, delicious chicken thighs. Look at that price, $6.16. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I think they picked the wrong one because I ain't never paid that much for no chicken thighs in my whole life. Um, if you've never had these, they're so good. The Clio Greek yogurt bars. This is the strawberry. It has nine grams of protein if that's something you're looking into. I just found out from another YouTuber that I watch that they do have new flavors of this at Sam's Club. So they have bigger packs. It makes me want to re-sign up for my Sam's Club membership. I found I went to Costco more last year. And I don't know, I might have to get Sam's again just so I can get these. They're really good to throw in at your lunchbox for a snack. Um, I also got some Baby Bell cheese that I love to snack on. The blue one is the light cheese, but I love to have these throughout my work day. For the kid, oh, I also got these for me. Uh, Simple Mills Soft Bake Almond Flour Bars, the peanut butter chocolate chip. I heard these are really good, so I thought I'd try it. I got some Cool Whip for a recipe I'm making for my daughter's desserts. Um, you just take some strawberries, cut them up, and put them in those little strawberry, or I'm sorry, in those, um, what are they? Uh, little pound cake, pound cake cups that they have at Walmart, but they were out of those, so I'll try another store. Um, I've been addicted to these wheat thins, the home style, I mean, tomato and basil sun-dried tomato and basil. I've been loving these. I munch on them after work on the way to pick up the kid because by then I'm starving. Hello, friend. What you doing? Nosy. Um, for the kids' snacks or stuff to throw in the lunchbox, lunchbox this week, we have uh, chewy chocolate chip granola bars, some Pop-Tarts to have on deck, frosted strawberry, Pack, 12 pack of vanilla wafers, the mini ones. And the kids love these Biscoff crackers. They're really delicious. They give like gingerbread type vibes. I also got that sparkling strawberry water under here and our sparkling ice. I did want two different variety packs, but they were out of one. So they just substituted for two of these, which is the cherry limeade, which is not our favorite. It's not that good. The black raspberry, orange mango, and kiwi strawberry. Over here, I got some more coffee creamer. If you watch my last grocery haul, I'm still sipping on my Cafe Bustulo coffee. All I need is creamer every so often. And then milk. I've never had this organic grass-fed vitamin D milk, but they were out of the Horizon uh, DHA milk. So that's fine, they substituted that. I have uh, sliced provolone. Usually my daughter, I'll get her the Winco Italian subs, but I was not going to Winco today in all this rainy, stormy weather. Not going to do it, so I figured I'll just make it myself and see if she likes it. So I got the sliced provolone cheese for the Italian subs. Um, and the sausage, or the salami. So I got this Italian dry salami and pepperoni which I'm pretty sure is what is on the subs that we get from Winco. I also got her some string cheese to throw in the lunchbox. And then I got Parmesan cheese shredded for my 
pasticcio recipe and then a block of cheese to have on hand. It's way better to shred this yourself. It melts so much better. <clears throat> I also got a little orange juice for smoothies this week. Throw a dash of that in there. Got some of that yummy delicious Stoke cold brew. Love that. Some ruffles for the kids' lunch box. Uh, red cooking wine for my pasticcio recipe. Plain breadcrumbs for the breakfast sausage rolls that I'll be making. And sugar. I'm also making brownies this week. Also out of the 8x8 cookbook. It's a really cute book. Like you cook everything in an 8x8 pan. Love that for us. So I needed some more sugar. I love these because we don't use a lot of sugar. So it's perfect. We were out of our Parmesan Romano 4C grated cheese. They did not have the other one. So they substituted this size, which is fine. For produce. This week, I needed a yellow onion. It's so dark right here. Yellow onion. Also, they had these watermelon chunks, so I thought that'd be good to go with dinner tonight. We got some strawberries, some green onions. Can't live without those. Also got some parsley for the pasticcio recipe. And y'all, look at this little broccoli. What is this? What is that? Why would they give me that? Sometimes I wonder like who does the shopping. Okay, and then cucumbers or a cucumber that I will cut up. Also for the brownies I'll be making, I needed some Hershey's unsweetened cocoa powder. And I needed a bittersweet chocolate bar. We'll use two ounces of that for the brownie recipe and semi-sweet chocolate chips. Yes, I'll eat these out the bag. <laughs> and for the breakfast sausage um, rolls, I needed like puff pastry. So that's gonna be delicious. I will be making these recipes and filming those for you. Um, I also just grabbed some seaweed. They were pretty much out at cost at a uh, Walmart. So I just got, I dug around and found this pack and then these two packs. So, kid can throw that in her lunch. I also got some bread to make the Italian subs. Boy, they were almost out of everything. Like, they substituted a lot of my stuff. So, I've got some sweet peppers. I love having these on hand. I'm having tuna wraps for my lunch. So, I'm going to cut some of these up to go in that. Got some puffs, baby, baby. Got some Cheeto puffs. This was an impulse buy. I've never seen these at Walmart. Um, it's the bubble milk teas in a can. Uh, this one is just the classic bubble tea. And then we have a Taiwan classic. I'm sorry, this is, this is brown sugar. That's a brown sugar. This is the Taiwan classic. I'll probably drink that one. And then there's taro. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And lastly, we have some mandarin oranges in 100% juice cups, which are our favorite. I swear by them. I think that keeps us nice and healthy. Next up, we're going to put some meals together. Okay, so this is the cookbook that I'm cooking from this week. The 8x8 Cookbook by Kathy Straws. She is an African-American cookbook author. Um, she has another book, The Ultimate Panini Press. So I'll link this book down below. I found it on Amazon. I've had it for quite some time. I believe I made like a banana bread recipe out of here. Um, it has a lot of good recipes. I love when they, when they have pictures. So this is like a macaroni and cheese. But we're going to make this pasticcio. Doesn't that look delicious? Um, once again, I couldn't find bucatini, so I just ended up Googling a substitute for that. And it said that thick, thick spaghetti um, would suffice. And in here she says you can substitute penne pasta. Um, so from here I'm making that pasticcio. And I'm also going to make brownies triple chocolate saucepan brownies. 
Yummo. So that's what we're cooking today. I'm also going to make something called sausage rolls for breakfast on the go. Um, something quick and easy and not too messy that I can make on my way to work. And I'm also going to make a protein pudding. I've been seeing that everywhere. So I was like, oh, I want to try that. I have Premier Protein. I have uh, strawberries and cream. And I picked up, was it this grocery haul? I don't even remember. I picked up, yeah, sugar-free cheesecake pudding mix. So we're going to make that as well for like a sweet dessert treat that's sugar-free and healthier for you. So it's a good way to use up that Premier Protein because I got it at Costco and it's a big pack and I don't drink them every single day. So let's get into it. I'm very excited. We're going to cook the pasta and then um, get the oven preheated and cook up the meat, yellow onions, garlic, etc. We put everything together. We make a bechamel sauce and throw it in the oven yum okay so we have our eight by eight dish here you can use glass or metal the premise of the book is everything is cooked in an eight by eight dish how fun is that so it's perfect for a family of two some of the recipes do have six servings eight servings but most of them are like four servings what i do also like in the book <clears throat> the 8x8 cookbook is that there's also like fun little treats for bake sales that you can make. So we have our 8x8 dish. We have some parsley. You guys probably remember this from our grocery haul. We have the beef. And I ended up getting Barilla thick spaghetti from Winco. I'm so happy I found this because I think that's going to be more authentic to the recipe. It calls for garlic minced. I don't cut garlic. I just buy this one from Trader Joe's and throw it in there. I had a can of diced basil, garlic, and oregano um, tomatoes. So the recipe does call for like one cup of this. Do not um, drain it. So that was good. Save some money there. Red cooking wine to get the bits off the pan. And an onion, some salt, pepper. So we're going to start by sauteing our onion and the meat, the beef with the minced garlic. And uh, that's it. And cook the pasta and then mix it all up and throw it in the oven, which I'm going to preheat now so we're gonna go ahead and cut this up and get this in some water to give it some life and um clean it so let's do it and browned and the pasta la pasta is done next we're going to go ahead and add i believe the red cooking wine evaporate it out the wine yep because we want to get all the bits off the pan which is the flavor right we do that and give it a mix. I know I love my little mix and chop. I got mine at the Dollar Tree. 
save your coins, sis. Don't get it on Amazon or no fancy store like Target. <laughs> Go right on over to the dollar twenty-five store and get you a mix-in shot. So you can get fine meat like this. Then we add our one cup of our tomatoes. And I think the rest of the parsley. You know, parsley is very high in iron. So you should add it to all your food if you want. You know, I'm just going to add all my tomatoes. And we're going to let this simmer until most of the liquid is evaporated. And then we're going to make the bechamel. Well, we're going to make the bechamel. Is that how you say it? Bechamel, bechamel sauce. While this kind of simmers and the juices evaporate. Because we do not want a wet pasticcio. Okay. So the meat is done. It looks so delicious. We let it simmer so all the liquid evaporates. And I have my pan here to make a bechamel sauce. Never done that before. This is a first. Let's hope it comes out okay. I'm sure it will. We have um, some butter. We have four tablespoons of butter. We also have milk. One cup. I don't want to touch it because it might spill. We have one fourth cup of flour and one cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. Um, I used a little bit more than one cup because I just used the rest of what I have and who doesn't love yummy Parmesan cheese. So basically we're gonna melt the butter. We're going to, let me look at the recipe here, melt the butter, add the milk. Oh, we also have an egg. We have one egg that's gonna go in here. Um, as well. So we're going to melt the butter over medium heat, whisk in the flour to form a thick paste, and cook, whisking occasionally until, you know, it makes a sauce. Then we're going to put in, reduce the heat, put in the milk, then, be then the beaten egg, Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper to taste, and it should be somewhat thick like a light custard so
my camera died. So next we're going to sprinkle the rest of the Parmesan cheese on top. And then add the bechamel sauce and put it in the oven. I'll show you all the finished dish. Okay, so I'm drinking a Dr. Pepper. I just put my phone up on this tripod. So I wanted y'all to see the bechamel sauce being poured on the top. You know, let's finish this recipe strong. Forget about the technical difficulties. Okay, so we're gonna put that on, spread it evenly across the pasticcio. Mmm, smells great. And then bake it. And when it comes out, I'll show you all the finished product and then you let it cool all the way before cutting into it so you have layers like on the picture. Yay! Oops. All right. I'm so proud. Kathy Strauss. However you say your name, look at how delicioso. You see the layer? I just took the pasticcio out of the oven. It cooked for 45 minutes at 375. So we're gonna let this cool before cutting into it and I hope it's beautiful. Mm, that looks great. And the house smells so good. So, so good. Okay, this has been cooling the pasticcio. The time has come to see if we get the layers like the picture. I'm so scared. It did not come out like the picture, but it tastes absolutely amazing. I think I'm going to make it again. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to make it again um, because it's really, really good. But I'm going to try and get the Bucatini pasta. But other than that, this is definitely a winner dinner and you guys definitely should try it. I'm going to pair it with broccoli, probably. Mm. I'm excited about this recipe. It's called sausage balls, and it is something that could be taken for breakfast. Again, I'm looking for things that I can take on the go, in the car, on the way to work that are easy to transport and easy to eat. Now, if you're on Weight Watchers, this I think is a Weight Watchers recipe. I got it from uh, Lauren Jensen's YouTube channel, and I think she's on Weight Watchers. So I believe it's two smart points for this. I will link the recipe down below, and you guys can, if you're interested, um, kind of look there. I am adding a little bit more things to my batch. I'm gonna add some of this apple. I thought that'd be delicious. Um, the recipe does call for ground thyme, garlic powder, sage, salt and pepper but you know I'm extra so I'm gonna add some <laughs> I'm gonna add some of the Trader Joe's cheesy seasoning blend some of the Trader Joe's 21 season seasoning salute and I'm gonna add Lari salt and instead of onion powder I'm gonna do onion salt and the recipe does call for some breadcrumbs an egg to do an egg wash on the puff pastry and um, if you go on Pinterest, there's a bunch of different ways to make these. So you don't have to use puff pastry. If that's not your thing, you can even make your own dough. But I'm not doing all that. And we use ground turkey, um, which, you know, that saves money. Instead of buying like turkey sausage and I mean breakfast sausage and breakfast meat, ground turkey is a great substitute for that. I'm sure you can use ground pork, ground chicken, you can use anything. So basically we're gonna throw everything into a bowl, mix it up, put it in our phyllo dough raw, and bake it at 400 degrees in the oven. Easy breezy.
All right, so we're gonna put these in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I'll probably do maybe 30 just until this starts to crisp up. It smells great. It smells like Thanksgiving. Yummy. Our sausage rolls have come out of the oven. They look great. They smell great. My paranoid mind is like, what if they're not cooked all the way through? They have to be. I left them in a little longer. All right, I'm gonna cut one open and see. Take a bite. Oh, make that super delicious. Mm hmm. All right, so I want to share a quick, cute little strawberry dish that I like to make for my daughter. I call them strawberry shortcakes. You may have seen these dessert shells at the market. I got them from Walmart. I decided not to make the brownies because my daughter had a friend over and they ate so much junk this weekend. We're gonna save the brownies for next week's video. So what I do have here are some strawberries. Um, I put a little bit of sugar in them and lemon juice and just kind of let it marry and hang out and get a little juicy, kind of mash them. Um, sometimes I do put these on the stove and make like a compote and let it get uh, melty. It's really good. And I just take, oh, and I have whipped cream. And I just take two of the shells. Such a cute, easy, fun treat. Put a little whipped cream. You could change it up and put different flavored whipped cream depending on the time of year fall has really good whipped cream flavors put a little bit of strawberry and then you put more whipped cream you just layer it so this is a great way to use up strawberries a great way to get strawberries get fruit in the kids diet And she loves these. And sometimes we'll jazz it up and put some chocolate sprinkles on top. And that's a fun little dessert. So the very last thing we're making is a protein pudding. <clears throat> you may have seen this around the town on the internet. Um, you just take a protein shake. I'm using Premier Protein in the flavor strawberries and cream, my fave. And then I have a sugar-free cheesecake pudding. A tablespoon, you're gonna put two tablespoons of this into this. And then yeah, mix it on up. Listen. Go to Daiso. If you have a Japanese store called Daiso near you, go get you one of these mixers, hand mixers, whatever they're called, for a dollar and some change. I looked on Amazon and they're $9.99. No. Look for the deals. This is something that is so tiny but effective. You do not need to spend $10 for that. Okay? So we're going to open this. And you only need two tablespoons, which is fun because you can make it multiple times. So I'm going to call this a strawberry cheesecake. No, strawberries and cream cheesecake pudding. We're just going to mix it all up. It's so easy. And put it in the fridge to set.
and this will be a nice little low calorie dessert for me this week you know I try to find balance I'm not miss oh I eat healthy I'm sure you guys could tell by my weight um, but I am healthy but I am overweight oops but just being like just switching it up and eating good and finding balance I've lost 13 pounds and I wasn't even trying so that's good so two tablespoons sprinkle 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 put you a little closer so there might be looks like maybe two servings with this one ounce pack of jello pudding mix and then we mix it oh. oops and then we'll just put it in the fridge to set and once it sets and it comes out I'm gonna put whipped cream and I'm gonna put some fresh strawberries on top and it's gonna be delicious and while this sets I want to talk to you guys and share with you all some black owned products that I am loving things that I already have and some things that I just discovered this month for Black History Month So we'll do that if you're still with me. Are you still with me? Like and subscribe, baby. Let's grow. Let's, this smells good. All right, I think that's mixed. Oh, to, this is satisfying. But I think this is mixed. We're going to pop it in the fridge and let it thicken up and be yummy. Well, hello. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed the recipes that I made this week. They were all so good, like the sausage rolls, winner, winner, winner. The pasticcio, you must make it. I will be making it again, like I said, and get the right pasta, bucatini. So that is out of the 8x8 cookbook. African-American author I like to support during this time of month. Although I've had this cookbook for many years, I'm not going to make the brownies, but I'll link this down below. I got it on Amazon and you guys are going to really love the recipes that are in there. They're easy and delicious. Another um, <clears throat> African-American author is Janae Claiborne and she has Sweet Potato Soul. You probably heard of her. She's like vegan. I'm not vegan, but there are some recipes in here that I love, like the red beans and rice. And I did try the jackfruit sliders once, and they were really good. Um, you use jackfruit, which is like a substitute for shredded chicken, shredded pork. Got this on Amazon too, and she has like a website and all kind of cool things. So I also want to share with you some other black owned items and businesses that you may want to check out i read i love reading this was a good book that i picked up a while back at target called someday maybe it's a really good book um i would definitely pick it up and read it if you want um she's going through an emo emotional journey she's nigerian i'm not going to give it away but it is a good read I'm currently reading My Girl. This is my bookmark that my baby made me a long, long time ago. Um, one of my favorite authors, may she rest, rest well, Queen, Toni Morrison. I'm reading A Recitatif, which is, and I didn't know this until getting this book, it's a story. It's a short story. It is the only short story that the great Toni Morrison ever wrote. She did does have 11 novels and a couple of essays but this is the one and only short story that she's read so it's really good and it's and I'm not gonna give that away either but it's interesting it's experimental it'll make you think again about what we put on race you know when we should just be one race human race not categorized by you have to act this way 
or be this or be that because you're black or white or Asian. It's good. It's good. I wasn't, I didn't know anything about it. And so far, it's really great. And the foreword is by Zadie Smith. So it's really good. Um, another product that I do love, and I'll link their Instagram down below. I used to get a box every month that um, had, it was like a subscription box. I think I have a video somewhere reviewing one, but I don't think they're in business anymore. But in one of those boxes once came um, a deck of 52 affirmations. This is awesome. So it is a journey towards self-love by Omzi and Sharice Jackson. I think I follow them on Instagram. I'll put them in the link down below. But each week, you know, to like a deck of cards with positive affirmations on them. So they look like this, they're pretty big. And each week I pick my intention for that week. Um, so this week I picked one that's called Peace and Joy. And it says, every, prob every problem is not mine to solve. I choose the amount of weight I carry, baby. And then on the other so side, it says, sometimes you must make a conscious choice not to care. But if you care, you cannot carry it all. Somebody need to hear that. Somebody needs to hear it, baby. It's true. So true. So this will be my affirmation for the week. And I put it up in my bathroom where I can see it, you know? So on that other level of self-care, I do have a manifestation journal that I love. I got this so many years ago. Where? Amazon. Um, and there's all kind of different little, you know, you could do a gratitude board. There's like a bunch of different activities you can do in here if that is your jam if that's your thing the one that I love and that I do most of the time is the 5 by 55 method which is where you for five days write your intention 55 times so I love it and I'm telling you when I do it because it's not always consistent but when I do do it I feel it and things just it's great. It's a great way to like do a dump and like subconsciously set your intention for the week. Okay. So some other favorites are the Black Girl Sunscreen. It is a must have. It is a 30 SPF infused with jojoba and avocado. It's water resistant for 80 minutes. It is a black owned black girl sunscreen. Um, it can be kind of pricey. To be honest, I didn't buy this. It was given to me. So once I'm out, I will be buying more. It is important to take care of our skin, you know, all through the year, not just summer, but especially all the time because the sun is out all the time. So I noticed a huge difference when I use this. My skin feels great. Um, another thing is I do my skincare and I drink collagen in my coffee. All of these, I'm 45. Ooh, no I'm not, I'm 44. I'll be 45 in June. But you know, I'm at the age where I need to take care of my skin. I'm starting to get these little lines right here, a little saggy sag. So I try to take care of my skin. That's the plan. And the last fave that came in one of my subscription boxes that I used to get is these, I don't know how to say it, Now Keto Creations. It's a whipped body butter frosting in the scent Calm. Oof. Oof. When I'm stressed or just want to rest good or after I do my skincare, I will put this on and the scent of, is it lavender that I love? I think it's the lavender. It's just, it's amazing. And it's very, very, very um, good for the skin and gets it nice and moisturized. So try that. For makeups, of course, Fenty Beauty. I love this lip gloss. I wanted to try it. Miss Jamima here on YouTube is the one that made me try it. She had it on and I was like, I have to have it. It's the Fenty Beauty Cream in the color... I'm blind in the color Fenty Glow. So when this is out, I'm definitely going to buy some more because it's so pretty. I love it. 
I love it. It's creamy and it's moist. It's just great, okay? It's the only thing I've ever bought from Fenty Beauty and I'm glad that I did. And one more great black owned um, cosmetic situation is Juvia's Place. I have an addiction. They have these beautiful blushes. This is the nudes. I'm sorry, eye, what are they called? Eyeshadows. Those are the nudes. <clears throat> I have the bronze rustic. And I've had these all for a long time. Like, these are nothing new. These are just my faves. The only thing new here, I think, is the Fenty Beauty, and I'm almost out of that. This is the Mauves. Oh, baby. And then they have the bronzer. They're, this is the dark palette. I'm pretty sure they have a light palette. And then the blush. I, I think I'm wearing the blush right now. This, baby. Tell me that's not gorgeous. Love all their products, and I will, when the time comes, buy some more. And the last situation, baby, that I just discovered is Izzy and Liv. I decided to buy something from them because I'm always getting the emails, and they are so affordable and always have sales. So it's this little lounge robe. It's very silky. I'll put a full body shot in here somewhere. It's silky. It's lightweight it's pretty it's cozy i also got some a pajama set um it's this top <laughs> isn't that cute it's long sleeved and it comes with like some shorts but those are already in the hamper because i already wore them and then matching that comes a satin sleep my camera's too bright a satin sleep mask and look how cute it opens like this let's see love that and it's a little sleep mask because yes sometimes we need that is it upside down there we go this so cute and it comes in this little box so those are two things i supported and ordered from them um i think that's everything i wanted to share with you all so yeah so the protein pudding is firm. It is the strawberries and cream cheesecake. So we're gonna put some whipped cream on here. And this is a whole serving, like I can eat this whole thing. How fun is that? And then I only have one hand. I'm gonna put the strawberries on top. And that is it. I might put some graham crackers in here. Mmm. I'm gonna put graham crackers. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So I just put some graham crackers on here. We're gonna sprinkle it on top and eat it. Yummy. Hey, I'm gonna go in. <clears throat> I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Mm hmm. Delicious. Make the protein pudding. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have 50 subscribers, which was the goal. So now we're gonna move it on to 100. Let's get 50 more. If you like this content, please help my channel grow by liking and subscribe. Interact down below. Do you think you'll cook any of these recipes? Do you think you'll read any of these books or try any of these black owned products? I try to support small businesses, black owned women businesses. That's something that I want to do in my life. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful week. And I'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Oh,